how's it what we're going to do today is create a snowman to um, join our little bear friend and uh, we're going to do this all in after effects not illustrator to create our snowman um, so what we're going to do is you can create a new layer so in after effects go to layer new and we're going to do a shape layer okay and with the shape layer you'll see it created a new shape layer um, here and by the way remember if you want to do a shortcut to a layer you can hit um, like two three and you can go through um, the shapes here on your layers um, but you can also name it you should definitely name it so you don't get mixed up of all these layers and we're gonna use shy guy um, so we can um, select because um, you know there's all these panda layers mountain layers it might get messy quick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide actually hold down and drag down all these layers and then notice that only shy guy is showing and then click on shy guy and notice that it's only shy guy so this is a lot easier um, to create um, with the snowman um, one thing you could also do is hit command N and do a, a new composition like a snowman right here and then you can actually drag go back to it creates a new project um, tab and you can actually drag that snowman layer right into here okay and so now if we go back to snowman and we create uh, like like his head here okay and we go back to sunrise notice it's right here so that might be a little bit easier for you um, to create your snowman, but then when you animate, you know, you might want to interact with the bear or something. But just for future reference, if you if things are getting too crazy in here, you can isolate and create um, separate tabs and then link them, and so you can still animate them uh, fine uh, for that way. Um, so yeah, you can choose. Um, I'm just gonna put it in here to make it easier for you to see um, when I uh, animate. Now, uh, when you have your uh, snowman head, um, let's name this uh, head for the snowman. So I'm going to rename and snowman, and I'm going to command C head. Okay, now I'm going to create a new shape layer. So create a new layer, and we're going to call this maybe body. And we do them separate because we're going to animate them separately. If we weren't going to animate them separately, you could just like put them all three in the same layer. But we are going to be um, doing that. So I'm going to rename this and paste snowman body. And I'm going to choose one more. So layer new, shape layer, and we'll call this feet. Even though they don't have feet, we're going to call them feet. Okay, so now we can position them the way you want. Um, I just have a stroke white, so it just looks like it's all one. And if you want to make it bigger, you can. Um, remember, uh, scale is how you can make it bigger. S for scale. Okay. Um, S for scale, maybe the, a little bit bigger. Okay, and of course you have to have a Position, layer new, shape layer. Of course, you have to have a nose. So, we're going to rename this nose. And uh, G, G for good for pen tool. Okay, it's a little bit different than P for pen and illustrator. We're going to go in and create um, this. I'm going to name this an orange. Okay, and there we go. And again, you can double click um, an object and isolate it if you want to like resize a little bit better. Okay, and for the eyes, usually they're charcoal, so I'm going to choose that. And um, again, new shape layer, um, layer new shape layer. Uh, I'm gonna call this eyes because 
I'm not going to animate the eyes. If you want to animate the eyes, you can. You can have them as separate layers, but that's up to you. Um, you can always change it later. So I eyes here, and I made another one uh, there. So I just command C, command V, and we have two eyes here. Okay, uh, let me try that one more time. And C, command V, P for position. Maybe I'll move it over here. Okay, so let's make sure that's orange. Let's put them over there. Okay, if you want to add mouth, if you want to add hat, scarf, go ahead. Um, but I'm just going to stop there. Just make it simple, and you guys can do. Also, arm. If you want to make an arm, you could just um, use a really thin, like rectangle, you know, and you can, you know, something really basic. Um, if it's hard to see, maybe do a little bit lighter. Okay, so, um, and the problem is I have to rename that. So rename uh, snowman arm. Okay, let's animate our snowman. If you look here at sunrise, you can see where he starts out. Make sure you in a position uh, where you want him to be. Um, let's set him more over here to give room for the bear. Now, let's be creative. Um, First of all, um, the eyes, we want the eyes to follow the animation of the uh, head. So for example, if you have your head here, and let's say we, we move the head, like, like move it here, see how the eyes don't go with it? Um, but there is something called parent. And right here, if you control click on uh, the columns, uh, on this part here, you can see columns. You can choose like modes, in and out, duration, and things like that. Um, so you can kind of choose uh, what you want uh, to show. So if you don't have parent, or if you don't have 3D, or some other thing, you can um, choose that. And so if you choose for the parent, so if I go to uh, snowman eyes, I want the parent to be the head. So it'll uh, follow um, that. There's also a shortcut. You can um, actually click on um, this little squiggly thing and then drag it down like to the head and it'll become, it'll say snowman parent. And then we can do that for the nose as well. Okay, so now if we uh, here for the position of the head and if we start it here and we move it uh, here and see how the eyes go with it. And um, whenever we are uh, moving it, uh, go ahead and you see motion blur. This simulates a sh um, shutter duration. So you can actually click on that and it just creates a little bit more smoother effect. So I would uh, always click on that for if you're going to have something animate. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do actually is not, we're going to click on that and delete it. And we're not the keyframe for the head because we're actually going to start his head down. So I'm going to uh, make sure the uh, body, or sorry, the feet layer is at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to move um, for my head and body. I'm going to highlight those two layers. Okay. And hit P for position. Okay, P for position, and we're actually going to start it, you know, down here. Now it may be hard if they um, they both don't fit on the one layer, so you could make them like overlap them. But I'm going to go to my feet, hit S for scale, and actually I'm going to make it um, a little bit bigger, so it kind of covers both of them, and you can kind of overlap it too, make sure it looks okay and not too big. So I'm going to go just enough to cover both of them. And you can make the head smaller too or the um, body. 
So now what I'm going to do is click on my head and the body and hit um, P for position. Okay, it's already selected. I'm going to hit that stopwatch. I'm going to drag it out just a couple seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to um, shift. I'm going to like um, make my bo uh, body and my head kind of pop up. Okay, and notice how he's kind of small, right? So let's scale it too. So let's go back. So you see how he kind of like pops up. I'm going to go to my S for scale for my head and body. I'm going to hit the stopwatch. And then I'm going to drag it out a couple seconds as well to where he stops. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Okay. And then you can hit uh, P for position to see where the position is. And you can kind of like move him over if you need to as well. So let's see how this looks. So he's going to pop up and kind of move over okay and again you can be creative don't do exactly like you could pop them to the right you could pop one at a time um, do what you want to do for the position uh, for that um, okay so and let's go with So now that he's popped up, now let's um, make his arm appear. So if you go to his snowman arm, okay, let's make his arm appear right there, okay, and let's move that over. Right here. So when he pops up, uh, that's when you're going to use it. Uh, so P for position, and you can kind of like move it over into place. Okay, so and if you want it bigger, I'll make it a little bit bigger. P for position, and again the shortcut to get to these layers. If I want to go back to the feet, I can hit, um, one, two, and so on. And if I don't need to see the eyes, like I honestly don't need to see these eyes anymore because they're parented and the nose. So I can. I don't need those. I can shy guy those. So I can like shy guy and then only choose shy and then it's a little bit easier to work with and not so many layers. So let's make the arm rotate. Okay, so I'm gonna hit R for rotate and I'm going to start it right where the arm kind of appears and hit the stopwatch for rotation. Remember always drag it out a couple seconds or however long you want it and now I'm going to um, make him rotate so I can rotate here but notice the rotation rotating anchor point is over here okay um, we don't want the anchor point here by the way hit command K and if you don't want the background color bl um, black you can choose it to something don't choose a dark color choose a bright color to brighten your day um, okay um, but again when you go to sunrise it's still that color so it's just a little bit easier to work with Okay, so on the rotation, um, we have that. Uh, if you click on A for anchor point, um, A you can kind of anchor where the rotation kind of turns. So if you look, see how I move the anchor, and now the anchor is over here. If I move it over here, see how my anchor is now there. Okay, so I'm going to. move it so now my anchor is over there it went behind <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move my arm in front of the feet okay um, and kind of play around with your anchor point okay and your rotation okay and then you can kind of get it you kind of want something like that you want to like um, like that and actually I'm gonna hit um, R for rotation Okay, and then you can kind of move it. A for anchor point if you want to move it there. So maybe down more. There. Okay, so now if you can see, he kind of like moves it around. So let's play everything now. Okay, and there we go. So we did opacity with the arm. We did rotation with the arm. We did anchor point. We did position with you know, moving the body. When you're finished, go back to your sunrise. We can play the whole 
uh, animation and see how it looks okay and there it goes and again please be creative and choosing uh, what you want to do with uh, additional animation to your um, snowman and how he um, interacts you know with this scene so yeah that's traps just like Star Wars it's a trap